write a program takes your a user input describing a card playing card in the following shorthand notation um, <clears throat> this uh, so if you know you're playing cards right so and if you enter this is the enter here this is the in input enter a card notation if you put a qs then you are going to print the result of a queen of spades okay so qs so you check here if it's a q then you replace it with queen if it's s then of spades right if you get you know <clears throat> ac then will be an ace of clubs if it's a number between two and ten then let's say we get seven that will be you know if it's seven s so it'll be seven of spades okay we're going to print that out so uh, we will map that to these of these numbers and then you print the correct um, name and then also the, the correct uh, uh, suits down here okay so let's see if we we can think about um how do how do we tackle this problem uh, using functions of course you can write this using non-functions but um, so the purpose is to use functions. <clears throat> so get back to your basic stuff, um, those three steps, right? Input output stuff. So put here um, the input uh, process output. Okay, so we know the output was going to be like. This is the output, right? So I mentioned way back in uh, unit one that. Uh, usually when you do your program, you're going to spend your time, you know, designing the interface, what it's going to look like. If you know that, then, okay, so this is my output and this example is really simple. So it basically just one print statement. So in my output, I'm going to have a function to maybe just say print result, right? That's, that's all he does. And um, maybe I'll just do that. So inside here, you can do a function, say a def define <clears throat> print result like I mentioned earlier now what do I need to print this to the console I need to print the card right which is the card and the suit well I guess this would be like the rank right if you want to call it rank you know I think it's what I refer to in cards so we'll call the rank and the suit and plus the cute the word off so in my print statement um, in this case, I need to do something like print the rank, and then um, you could put here the rank, and then the comma, and then the word of, and then the suit, something like that. I mean, for this example, it would be really simple like that, right? And so that means when I print this function, I have to pass to this function, in this case, two things right two things and i need the rank and i need the suit so that i can print it out to the console <clears throat> so in this example it would be a very simple print statement if you want to decorate it you can print in the multiple lines but this is good for this part and uh so to test it you can say okay print result i'm going to say uh, queen and then and then or well, you it would have actually the, the whole word um the whole word right queen of spades something like that and when you run it you're gonna see the result over here that's a result that you want to use <clears throat> okay but of course we're not gonna manually put this in here I'm just showing you how that's gonna do so that's the output the input uh, so we're going to read that from the user, and this is the uh, text. So we're here then, instead of saying just get the input, we're going to use the function to read the input. So you do something similar, uh, maybe get card, right? And then inside here, you need to set the card to an input statement. This is something that we've done before, and this is the text here. And I'm not going to do any validation here, uh, but we we do want to convert that to uppercase, so upper. <clears throat> okay, so once you get the card, and the reason why I put the word get here, as you can see, here I'm just printing. You when you print result like this, when a function that does not return something, is a passive function, right? You just 
you think about if you give an instruction to somebody to do something for you, then you say, um, you know, here's my key, take my card and go home, right? So that instruction is very passive. You're not expecting that person to come back. So there's no returning back. The other one here, I'm getting a card. So I put the word get in front here just to give you a clue that it's gonna return something back. I requested, I need something back. Okay, so here, here's, here's my card. Go buy us some coffee. I expect coffee to come back. And also my card, right? So in this case, then once you read the card into this card variable, then you need to return it to where? You don't care, right? You don't care where. Whoever needs it, whoever requested it, is gonna get the card, okay? That's why functions are very specific to what they do, and they don't have any clue what's going on outside of that, uh, that little world. They only know that, okay, I get something, I do what I'm supposed to do, I'm done. So this will be the, the get card. You can also call it get input if you want to, but again, if you wanna make it more specific, then this would be a, a better option. Okay, so I get that. And then the processing part is you're going to use this card. You're gonna receive two characters, like Q and S, and use that to determine using this chart here. So, so if it's A, then you want to return the word ace and J and so on. If it's a between two and 10, then you just basically return the card value, which is the number itself, okay? And that is the first character, right? The first character you check for those. The second character, you're gonna check for these, um, these uh, suits down here. <clears throat> okay, so the process part then, you're gonna have a function Maybe something like um, I'm gonna have two functions: one to get the the the, um, the rank. So you can do something again. Say a get rank, and then when I get the rank, well, I need something to check it out, right? To check the rank with. What do I need to check? Well, I need to check these values. These are the actual card. So these are the rank. Right? So I can say, okay, I need the rank, whatever that value is then I can check those against a list of something. So here you would do, um, say if the rank is equal to an A, right? Then you're going to return the word ace. And you do that for all of those ranks, okay? So notice that if, if you do something like this, if it's, a, it's a, if an if statement follows by a single statement or return or very short like this, I mean, this is okay. Yeah, I, let, let me copy this. You can see. Sometimes it's easier to see this way, but sometimes it's not. I mean, uh, oops, if it's a, a king, k that's a king, right? So in this case, if you just have one return statement, that it's okay to do it this way using a single line. It's actually cleaner to do it this way instead of using two lines because all, all, all I'm doing just bang, 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 right? If it's a return, go done. Okay, so make sure line uh, looks cleaner and uh, actually shorter. So I'm gonna copy this and print um, a couple of times. If it's A, it's a king. If it's a jack and it's a queen, so this would be a jack, queen. And then, oh, yeah, I think that's it, right? If it's anything else, that it must be the numbers, right? It must be uh, between two, and um, two and 10. So in that case, you don't have to check it. You just say, okay, if that's the case, just return it back. It must be a number, not AJ in King Queen. So you return the number back. Again, we're assuming there's no one here. We, we don't use one. We just have to make that perfect at the entry point. So there you go. That's my function to return the rank. And then I need to, I need to get another function to return the suit, right? So same thing. This is we get suit and need the suit to be passed to this function and same as above. Because if it's, uh, if suit is S, then return uh, spades. And you can copy this four times. So 
uh, heart, club, and diamond. So I'm going to get only those four, right? So those are my functions to process my information. And then now is, okay, so where do you start? So these are all my functions using my stuff. And then this is where your main function comes in. So again, down here, this is my main function. <clears throat> what I do here. And then somewhere down here at the very bottom is the entry point to my program. Call it main and then the main function invoke here. So I will start here. So the first thing you do is you go into get the input, right? So I'm going to get the card. So I can say card here equals to get card. I call that function. And that function up here is going to return the card back to me. That's what it does. It comes back. I got the card. After that, I need to find the suit and the rank. So I just call those. So I would say, um, you know, suit, I use the same variable name, is equal to get suit. And it's going to be the card of the second parameter. So I could put up here and be like the rank first. And I'm, I'm passed to that the rank of zero, the card of zero, right? If the, if QS, <clears throat> I'm passing the card of the Q letter to that function. So Q comes in here, it matches the Q, returns the word queen, returns it, right? Return queen. And then now the rank has the word queen. And then now I pass the second letter S to this function and it says spades. So I return spades to the word suit here. And then finally, I call this print function to print the result. So I can say print result. It needs the rank and the suit. And it prints that out. Okay, so we can give it a test and see if this works. So here we go. The uh, input, I put QS just like in the example here. And there it is, it's the queen of spades. Okay. And if I run again, if I try a, um, you know, ace of club. So there's ace of club. And let me try the number. Let's just say it's seven of diamonds. There it is.